spending the day at the beach is a perfect for summer day like today, but sometimes parking can be a challenge. Jamie Hayes visited Sand Harbor today where she spoke with officials about how difficult parking there can be and how it can cause public safety issues. It's a tremendous problem for public safety, uh, firefighters, uh, emergency service who are trying to respond to an emergency. Um, getting through this area is extremely problematic for them. Before 8 a.m., cars are already lined up at Sand Harbor waiting for the gates to open. It does cause a lot of cars out on the highway before we open. But in just a few hours, the park will be closed again due to no parking spaces. On the weekend, we can fill up and close between 9 and 10. Sometimes earlier, just depending on, on how bad the traffic is out there. Um, during the week, it's usually a little bit later. This causes people to line up on the freeway waiting for the park to reopen, which causes a huge problem for public safety. Cars line up on a two-lane two highway, sometimes all the way back to Incline or Hidden Beach, which can be like a two or three mile line of cars. Some people get very impatient and they'll uh, make the unwise decision to go left of center and cross the, the double yellow um, and try to pass all the traffic. Which is illegal. It is against the law um, to both uh, cross the center line to get around the traffic. Uh, it's also against the law to park in the travel lane uh, to wait to get into the park. Last year, visitors were able to park in the boat ramp parking, but since there is more water this year, the boat ramp is back open, creating less parking spots for passenger vehicles. We have boats launched now, so that space is for boats, and we knew in the past that you could double park if you had kayak or canoe or paddleboard, but not this season. Officials say the best option is to either carpool or take the East Shore Express. After we close, there is a way to get in. You just got to go to Incline Village, jump on the shuttle, and then you can come on in and try to come as early as possible. My sister came on a holiday weekend and they got here eight o'clock and it was totally closed and backed up completely. So I got to get here early. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. That East Shore Express or better known as Sand Harbor Express shuttle runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. It drops off and picks up at both locations every 20 minutes. The shuttle starts at 771 Southwood Boulevard in Incline Village.